In this video, I'll provide a configuration guide and a demonstration of the reverse NAT functionality of the RxG. First, let's briefly take a moment to understand the purpose of this feature. In this demonstration, the ISP has provided you with a standard modem that provides DHCP when you plug a device into it. In this scenario, these addresses are private. In addition, the ISP has agreed to provide you with a slash 24 subnet of public IP addresses, but they will route those to you over the existing DHCP connection. The slash 24 subnet can now be configured on the LAN side of the RxG so that the public IP addresses can be provided to the downstream devices. This particular configuration has been possible for quite some time. What happens though if you want the RxG to use one of those addresses? This is where the reverse NAT functionality comes into play. Reverse NAT will allow the RxG to send traffic towards the internet sourcing from the first IP address in the public block that was routed to you. Additionally, inbound traffic to that same address will be rerouted to the current WAN address. So let's take a look and see how this is configured. First, you will need an uplink. The RxG comes by default with the lowest number interface configured as a DHCP client and WAN functionality. However, in this example, we will add another uplink and configure it for DHCP. Under Network, WAN, Uplinks, Click Create New. We will name this uplink NAT Reversal Uplink. Since I'm already using VMX0, let's assign VMX2 as the interface and select DHCP. Go ahead and click Create when you're done. Next, we will need to configure the slash 24 that the ISP is routing to us over the DHCP connection. Navigate to Network and LAN, and then under Network Addresses, click Create New. We will name these addresses Static Public IP Addresses. We will select an interface of VMX1. We will configure the IP as the lowest usable IP address in the slash 24 subnet. In this case, that is 192.170.0.1 24. Finally, we need to configure the reverse NAT. However, before we do that, I want to take a quick moment and show you what the outbound RxG traffic looks like before the reverse NAT. Here, we can see that the RxG uses the private IP address on the WAN interface to send out its traffic. Now, let's navigate to Network and NAT and then click Create New under NATs. Let's name this NAT Reversal NAT Roll. Now under Uplinks, select the NAT Reversal Uplink. Check the box for Reverse NAT, and then finally select our subnet of public addresses and then click Create. Now that this configuration is complete, let's look at the traffic egressing the WAN interface of the RxG. Notice that this time the RxG is sending traffic via the first IP address in our public subnet. Likewise, inbound traffic to that address is redirected to the WAN interface. The reverse NAT configuration of the RxG is now complete. Thank you for watching the brief demonstration of the RxG's reverse NAT functionality.